Have you ever done something absentmindedly? And you say to yourself, oh, what a bird brain. Or someone else calls you a bird brain. Well, let me let you in on a little secret. Birds are a lot more intelligent than we might think. So says highly claimed author of The Genius of Birds and Birds by the Shore, Jennifer Ackerman. In fact, her research shows that some birds rival humans when it comes to intelligence. And Jennifer joins us via Zoom. Thank you so much for being with us this afternoon. It's a pleasure to be here. So you've traveled the world to learn about the brains of birds. Um, what is it about birds that prompted you to devote basically your life to, to research them? Well, I've been a bird lover since I was a child, and my father took me bird watching on the CNO Canal in Washington, D.C. Um, and, you know, my fascination began with kind of finding birds, identifying them, figuring out what family they belong to. And then later, as a science writer, I got curious about what makes birds tick. How do they communicate? How do they learn their songs? You know, they sing so gloriously. Uh, how do they um, make decisions about nesting? and mates and and what, what, what's going on in their minds you know what are they thinking are they thinking and mm -hmm. so this led me down a path um, to this really extremely interesting uh, world of bird intelligence and intelligent behavior can you give us some examples of the intelligence of some birds Yes. Well, there's a very, arguably, the world's smartest bird is a bird called the New Caledonian Crow. And it lives on a little island in the remote South Pacific Ocean and nowhere else on the planet. Now, this crow can make and use its own sophisticated tools on par with the big primate tool makers like chimps and orangutans. And these birds, they make different styles of tools in different parts of the island, which are passed down through the generations. So the transmission, faithful transmission of tool design is a very good definition of culture. So these birds are not only technologically brilliant, but they have culture. Wow, that is fascinating. Now, you've been praised uh, for your writing style and taking something as complex as the bird brain and, and really making it understandable. Is that something that's come easy to you? It's the thing that I love doing best. Um, I, I'm, a, I'm fascinated by science. I'm fascinated by, um, you know, biology, all kinds of science. And I actually didn't study it in college. So I'm <laughs> in some ways uniquely positioned to be a kind of translator. So what I really love to do is to take um, you know, sometimes complicated scientific material and really make it engaging and lively and fun for the, um, the average reader, somebody without a background in science to, uh, you know, to explore. Now, this is not your only book. You've written um, Birds by the Shore, a book of essays about birds along the Delaware coast. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Yes, that's a book. Um, that was my first book. And it was set, I lived in Lewis, Delaware for three years. And it's really about the, the natural life of the um, Delaware beaches and the areas around there. It's kind of a, a love letter to the marshes and the Cape, uh, Cape Henlopen and the mud flats and all the life that lives around the beaches. Um, it's so rich in life. And I you know, came there pretty much as an, as an outsider and really set as my goal to try to explore the natural life of the coast and, and learn about it what I could. So it's, it's about birds, but it's also about um, crabs and whales and those tiny little organisms that live on the mudflats called benthic organisms, which are fascinating in themselves. Uh, so it, it covers a, a really wide range of subjects. Sounds amazing. So you have a, a virtual event, speaking of Lewis, that's coming up. Yes, I'm very excited about it and, and so thrilled and honored that the book has been um, selected for uh, Lewis's first One City, One Book um, selection. And so I'm going to do a, a virtual event talking some uh, about the Birds by the Shore and also The Genius of Birds and my new book, which is called The Bird Way. And it's really about how birds apply intelligence in their daily lives and how they work, um, talk, play, parent, and think. 
That is amazing. Author Jennifer Ackerman, thank you so much for joining us this afternoon. The name of the book is The Genius of Birds. It was a pleasure to be here.